Zach, I'm kidding. What do you think? Congratulations. You've been set up. This is yours. Either we got a problem or you got a bad end. And we got you set up right here with a two liter turbo, video tested, ready to go. Last episode, we got a lot done. We got a lot painted, all torn apart, all put back together. Everything like trim painted, that way we don't have to lift up the hood, the paint in the inside right here. Painted all the little gaps, painted the door jams, painted the trunk area. And we even got the roof painted black along with some other pieces like the mirrors and these little side trim pieces right here. I know a lot of you guys actually like this gray color and I've actually painted one of my cars, this Nardo gray, but it's actually a primer look to it. It's actually, I think my first video on my channel, if you wanna look back to that. I got my new spoiler in. This is my new aftermarket one. It's a lot lighter than my original one, but it matches up all the mounting holes line up and it should be good to go. It was only like $60, so not too bad for a $500 replacement. I'm gonna end up priming that and then painting the top black and then the bottom, the tan color to match the rest of it. I think that will look best. Also, I really wanna to try to do a test panel. So I'm gonna bring one of my old body parts from this car. I'm not gonna paint it tan or anything, but I'm gonna prime it and start trying to do the rust technique to it. Uh, I haven't done it before, so I wanna do a test panel just to make sure I kinda of know what I'm doing. I understand it enough so I know what's going on, but I just haven't done it yet. So I really wanna try a test panel first before I try it on the car. Also, I need to sand down all this gray area, sand down all this where I got black ever spray, all the tan ever spray, and you sand down the hood. So let's prime these panels first, that way they have time to dry, and then we can start sanding this thing down, probably outside. That way we don't have to worry about getting any sanding dust on it.
car is sanded down and is ready to spray. I might have took it down a little too far in some places, but it's gonna be okay. That's no big deal to worry about. We're fine. Also, I painted the new spoiler. The top is black, the bottom is gonna be tan whenever I paint the rest of the tan on the car. And I also painted this little strip right here. The reason for that is since I'm going two-toned, there's like a little crack right here where the new spoiler sits and you can actually see the, the trunk area right here. So I thought it would be look better if I painted it black. That way you don't see the black and then like a little sliver of tan showing through. So painted that, no big deal. I think I'll make it look a little bit better once I actually install it on the car. Now let's talk about the whole rusting and patinaing. Now, one way to rust is obviously sand it down to bare metal and let it do its thing over time, but we don't, I don't have time for that and I want to clear coat over it. And also plastic parts will not rust. It won't ever rust. So we got to figure out a new way to do that. And the way to do that is this. First off, we'll talk about the iron fillings. This is what is going to actually rust on the car. This is actually just little bits of metal. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of clear coat and an airbrush gun or your paint gun or something and put it and spray it wherever you want the rust to be. So I'm gonna spray it right here and probably around the wheel arch where I think rust would actually settle and probably down low on the car too. So probably down here also where I think it's gonna rust. You're gonna spray a little bit of clear and then you're gonna take a straw or put some of the metal in your hand and blow it on. That way it kind of spreads evenly. Once all that dries, then you're gonna take this rust mixture. This rust mixture is hydrogen peroxide, white vinegar, and table salt. Here's the mixture if you wanna do it yourself. I did half of that because it didn't fit all in my bottle, so half of whatever this is. And once the clear coat dries with the iron flakes in it, you're gonna spray this on it and it's gonna rust right away. So that's how it's gonna get the whole patina and rusting effect, especially on the bumpers too, because you can't rust bumpers. <laughs> I haven't done this before, so that's why I'm gonna do a test panel, see how it works, see how much iron I need to put on it, see if I need to do like a couple layers, uh, where I wanna spray it, how much I need to spray on there. This is gonna be like a lot of testing to figure out exactly how to do it because it's my first time actually trying this, but uh, I think it will work. I hope it works. <laughs> if not, we're gonna have to switch up a lot of stuff. So we're gonna test it out right now and see how it goes. Uh, I hope it looks cool. I'm definitely glad I did a test panel because I learned quite a bit. First time, I didn't get enough clear on there so I couldn't really get the iron fillings to stick. I just started using a spray can of clear because I didn't want to waste any of my good clear. So I just used this, I sprayed like a good thick coat and then sprinkled some on. I tried blowing it on with like with my hand first to try to spread it out and it wasn't really getting a whole lot on there. So I switched to a straw technique where I can kind of dip this straw into the bag and get a bunch out and then blow it on. Uh, that works a little bit better. You get more of a thicker coat and like spreads out a little bit easier, I think. I like the thicker coverage more because it looks a lot more rusty. The first coat I had just looked kind of weird. It didn't look like there was anything on there. Just it looked like uh, surface rust, but this actually looks like legit rust. So if you want it to look more rusty, add a lot more iron fillings. I really underestimated how much iron fillings I'll be using per panel. Another thing is the clear dries pretty fast, especially in this Florida heat. So I'm probably gonna have to do this at one panel at a time. 
I'm probably gonna buy a matte clear, just a spray can, just so I can get the stick. I don't see the point of using a gun and using my good clear, my good expensive clear, for just to get it the stick. It should be fine. And once all this dries for a day or two, then we'll clear it with the good stuff, and that way it won't rust anymore and it will stay protected. So next up is to pull this back in here, tape everything up and start spraying. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spray the white. So the white's gonna go all the way around here. And also gonna spray the door handle separately. That way they get full coverage. And then we're gonna tape the white off exactly how the body line is. Then we're gonna spray black because there is a black pinstripe that separates the tan and the white. So we're gonna paint black. Then we're gonna tape the black pinstripe off and then we're gonna go all tan. take one last look at it before I ruin it, as a lot of people would say. 
kind of just want to address what I'm doing one more time. You know, I just really want to stand out and I really like the look of patina. And I know a lot of people just don't like it or not a fan of it on newer cars, especially, but I do. I, I actually really like it and I think it's going to look pretty cool on this. And I just really love JW Cardi's Beetle and I just, I really like it. And I didn't really want to just copy him with the blue or anything, but I did ask for permission though to use his whole patina style to it. And he granted me permission and I really just wanted to do this kind of paint scheme with the whole rust aspect because it stands out. And to make it big on YouTube, you kind of have to stand out. Get people to remember you and sometimes to get people to remember you, they have to do something that you might not like. And some people might not like me doing this, but they'll definitely remember it. So, you know, there's your little advice for if you wanted to try to make it big on YouTube or something. Do whatever you want to do and try to stand out and people will still like you for it. Hopefully. And our next part of ruining this is starting to sun fade it. Now, over time, sun will beat down on paint and it'll like fade it or it'll like start peeling it up in certain places, but I'm gonna go with the whole faded look too. So everywhere that the sun's gonna be directly hitting it, so like on the top right here, on the top of the fenders, I'm going to mix it a little bit lighter, mix this tan a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna mix it with the white and the tan, make a lighter color and airbrush it on top of the fenders and basically everywhere where the sun's gonna be hitting it pretty hard. So up on top of these fenders, on the hood, on this front bumper right here, it definitely be hitting it a lot. So it's all gonna be a little bit lighter. This fender over here on this door panel right here. The rear end, really just the rear bumper is gonna be hit because the spoiler is kind of hanging over. So not a lot of sun's gonna hit that. So this is probably gonna stay pretty normal, but all this is definitely gonna get faded. Basically, you're gonna do what JW Cardi did. You can see around his wheel arches, he lightened it up on top, around like everything that the sun hits. He lightened it up and did like a little white tone to it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've airbrushed a little bit before. I'm not a professional by any means, but I know kind of what to do. So <laughs> we're gonna try it out. And you know, if I ruin it from here on out, you know, it's, it's already gonna be ruined. That's next up, so I'm gonna mix some of that paint up and get a little bit lighter and start airbrushing some stuff on. Actually, scratch that, I do not have the adapter to hook this up to my air compressor, so we're just gonna have to send it with my normal air gun and hopefully I don't put too much overspray or too much paint on, but I have to use my actual gun. I can't use this thing. I can definitely say it looks pretty sun faded and old and yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. You know, I'm happy with it. Uh, around the wheel wells, looks pretty good. I wasn't originally gonna do the white. I was gonna, wasn't gonna fade it or anything. I was just gonna put rust over it, but it looked really weird. It looked, it stood out way too much. So I decided just to mix 
uh, just a little bit of brown with the normal white to make it just a tiny bit darker and put it around like some certain areas just to kind of give some texture to it. And it definitely looks a lot better. I liked it a lot better than just the regular plain white being there. So now is the kind of the hard part, the rust. I'm gonna do it one panel at a time because I feel like that's just the easiest way to do it. So I'm gonna start with the rear end and work my way up. Start with the back bumper, get it all rusted, then I'll move to like the trunk and then fenders and everything else. It's gonna take a while because this is a long process and it takes time for it to dry and then the solution, the actual dry on it. It might take a day or two just to get it perfect, but I think it's turning out really good right now. I really like it. Even if I wasn't doing the rust, it would still look pretty cool if I just took it out like this. It looks pretty old and, and looking like it's been sitting in a barn forever.
guys it came out so perfect it looks so good ah uh, i can't believe it <laughs> i can't believe i did it i went ahead and pieced it back together a little bit so you guys can get a glimpse of the final product it's not all back together yet because i'm missing my grills up here like i said and also i still need to put the trim on i still don't i don't know if i'm gonna keep the chrome or if i'm gonna paint the chrome i think i'm leaning more towards painting it because the only other thing in my car is chrome is the headlights so i mean and they're mostly black i haven't decided yet maybe you guys can help me decide but there's chrome trim on the front grills that go all the way across so if i do end up painting it i'll paint those too along with the sides but that's like the only chrome that's on the car so that's why i'm kind of leaning more towards just painting it i think it'll look a little bit better but the comparison between the rust and the black roof and just like little accents of black it just looks so good rear end looks so good bottom it does need cleaned. I haven't cleaned it yet, but it all went back together so well. It looks so cool. Ah, oh, just the different colors in it and everything. I I really tried to show you guys like all the different just textures and colors in it and just it's hard to it's hard to get it on camera, but in person this thing just looks crazy looking. Uh when I drove it down my street to get a thumbnail picture, I had a couple neighbors come out and they talked to me about it. They're saying how cool it looked. <laughs> so I think, it, I think it's safe to say I'm gonna get a lot of attention driving this thing. Now obviously it's not done yet. The outside's mostly put back together. I still need to do the fender liners and hook up some stuff in the front end, like the grills and everything. The interior, on the other hand, needs a lot of work. It does have a lot of dust and just needs a really good cleaning. I haven't cleaned it since I owned it, so it still smells like cigarettes. And I'll probably take it all out and do a full clean and wash down and try to get the smoke smell out. Uh, I'd really like to do new seats, like a new seat cover on them, try to do something different. And also, I want to paint the dash and the door panels, the cards up here, to match the rest of it. I'll probably go white and put rust on it. I think that would be kind of cool to have rust dripping from the top. A nice little accent piece in there to break up all the black. Nice little white accent piece. But other than that, this thing is very close to being done. And I should actually probably drive it now if I had it registered, but we're waiting for that and we'll finish the interior before we can start driving it around. Another thing we're gonna take care of next episode, I'm gonna take off this tent in the back. Everyone kept commenting on it. Yeah, that's planning on coming off and I'll have, end up redoing it or having someone redo it. So tell me what you think. Is it everything you ever wanted? Is it ugly? Is it awful? You tell me what you guys think. Either way, I'm really happy with how it came out and and I just couldn't have pictured it going any better. It's exactly what I envisioned, even better than what I envisioned. Just the hood looks like, look at all these different colors that it made. It looks so cool. And the clear coat came out perfect. It's super smooth. It almost looks like a wrap. It's so smooth. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram yet, I posted some teasers of the actual car before I released it on this video. If you guys want to follow me there, you can. If not, I will catch you next episode and hopefully start finishing this thing up and start driving it. Maybe you can see some people's reactions on the road. <laughs> it's definitely going to catch some eyes. So thank you all for watching and I'll catch you next episode. Bye.